Is it time to buy or sell Enphase stock? In this video, we're diving deep into Enphase. Our initial report was published on our website on Friday, August 11, 2023, and now we're here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. You don't want to miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Enhance your trading decisions by trying our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Tap into the power of AI and get a free price predictions and deep analysis for anyone among 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Since July 26, 2023, our system has ranked Enphase as a strong sell candidate, giving it a score of minus 5.31. Let's take a look at the stock's performance during this period. The stock experienced a loss of minus 22.01%. This translates to an average loss of minus 1.69% per day since it was listed as strong sell candidate. The stock lies in the lower of a very wide and falling trend in the short term, and this may normally pose a very good buying opportunity. If the lower trend floor at $134.12 is broken, it will firstly indicate a stronger fall rate. The current three-month trend suggests a potential minus 10.11% change over the next three months, with a possible return between minus 10.83% and 21.9%. As for the 12-month trend, it suggests a minus 44.30% change over the next 12 months, with a potential return between minus 60.64% and minus 10.54%. This translates to a price range of $53.21 to $120.95 after a year. Our latest daily update for Enphase includes the headline, Evaluation of Enphase Stock Downgraded After the Last Trading Session. The Enphase stock price fell by minus 0.92% on the last day, Friday, August 11, 2023, from $136.46 to $135.20. During the last trading day the stock fluctuated 2.04% from a day low at $133.34 to a day high of $136.06. The price has fallen in 8 of the last 10 days and is down by minus 12.4% for this period. Volume fell on the last day along with the stock, which is actually a good sign as volume should follow the stock. On the last day, the trading volume fell by minus 726,000 shares and in total, 2 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $300.04 million. Over the past 52 weeks, the highest price of stock was $339.92, and the lowest price was $132.48. Currently, the price is 60.23%, or $204.72, below the 52-week high of $339.92, which is also the all-time high for stock. Analyst Ratings and Price Targets On Wednesday, February 8, 2023, Barclays set a price target of 257. On Wednesday, February 8, 2023, Cowan & Company set a price target of 341. On Wednesday, February 8, 2023, Barclays set a price target of 257. On Wednesday, February 8, 2023, Cowan & Company set a price target of 341. On Friday, February 3, 2023, Janney Montgomery set a price target of 238. Analysts have given Enphase stock a general strong buy rating. They rate the P-E ratio as strong buy and price to book as strong buy. For return on investment, the analysts give the stock a neutral rating. The following signals have been identified for Enphase. There are few to no technical positive signals at the moment. The Enphase stock holds sell signals from both short and long-term moving averages giving a more negative forecast for the stock. Also, there is a general sell signal from the relation between the two signals where the long-term average is above the short-term average. On corrections up, there will be some resistance from the lines at $137.39 and $162.59. 
A breakup above any of these levels will issue by signals. A sell signal was issued from a pivot top point on Monday, July 17, 2023, and so far it has fallen minus 28.72%. Further fall is indicated until a new bottom pivot has been found. Furthermore, there is currently a sell signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence, MACD. Volume fell together with the price during the last trading day and this reduces the overall risk as volume should follow the price movements. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, sell signal. Pivots, sell signal 20 days ago. Bollinger, buy signal 10 days ago. Short-term moving average, sell signal 18 days ago. Long-term moving average, sell signal 14 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. By signal 12 days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart we see. Short moving average, sell signal 14 days ago. The long-term moving average, by signal 21 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. By signal 150 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, Risk, and Stop Loss for End Phase There is no support from accumulated volume below today's level and given the right condition the stock may perform very badly in the next couple of days. This stock may move very much during the day, volatility, and with a very large prediction interval from the Bollinger Band this stock is considered to be very high risk. During the last day, the stock moved $2.72 between high and low, or 2.04%. For the last week, the stock has had daily average volatility of 3.5%. Before we dive into the possible good trading levels for Enphase, let's quickly cover some essential fundamental data. First, the price-to-earnings ratio, or P-E ratio. This crucial ratio measures a company's current share price relative to its per-share earnings. This extremely high P-E ratio suggests that the stock could be overvalued. However, it's not uncommon for tech companies or those with huge market potential to have such high ratios. In other news, the next earnings report for Q3 2023 is expected on October 23, 2023. Analysts' consensus estimates are at $1.16. Keep an eye on these numbers, as they can greatly impact stock prices. Now let's discuss some potential day trading levels for Enphase. In case of an upward trend, the first resistance level for Enphase is at $140.69. If you don't own any shares, you may want to wait for this level to be breached before entering a position. For those already holding the stock, this could be a level to consider for swing trading. There's no significant support from accumulated volume below, which means the stock could potentially drop sharply under certain conditions. Proceed with caution and consider placing bets only if you're an experienced trader who knows how to navigate such situations. The combined average rating for Enphase from multiple analyst sources is strong buy. Let's take a look at some recent insider trades. On July 28, 2023, Rogers Thurman J conducted an insider buy of 900,090 shares of common stock. On July 28, 2023, Rogers Thurman J conducted an insider sell of 5 million shares of 4% convertible senior notes due 2023. On July 21, 2023, Ranhoff David A conducted an insider buy of 13,200 shares of common stock. On July 21, 2023, Ranhoff David A conducted an insider buy of 30,000 shares of common stock. On July 7, 2023, Rogers Thurman J conducted an insider buy of 2,475 shares of common stock. Based on the 100 most recent insider trades, we've calculated the insider power to be negative with a ratio of minus 55.058. Overall, insiders purchased 1,727,750 shares and sold 5,917,792 shares in the last 100 trades. We have a negative evaluation for this stock and no stop loss has been set.
Is Enphase stock a good buy? Enphase holds several negative signals and is within a very wide and falling trend, so we believe it will still perform weekly in the next couple of days or weeks. We therefore hold a negative evaluation of this stock. Due to some small weaknesses in the technical picture we have downgraded our analysis conclusion for this stock since the last evaluation from a sell to a strong sell candidate. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day, our systems find that the current price is overvalued. For trading on Monday, August 14th, we expect Enphase to open down $0.333 and start trading at $134.87. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money, and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information, you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Comment below and share your thoughts. What is your target for the stock? Remember to like and subscribe. We wish you successful trading and have a beautiful day with regards from all of us here at Stock Invest.